Are we all well? Yeah. Good. We're hot, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to play. We're going to play for quite a while tonight. We're going to be for quite a while, so I want you all to get comfortable. We're going to play some old songs and play some new songs. Some you'll like. Some you won't. Some you'll like. Some you won't. So. We're going to carry on now with one from Wind and Wondering. It's called One for the Vine. Men were sent to do the will of 
of the show here tells the story of a very good friend of ours whose name was Albert. Now, Albert was a born loser. Nothing Albert ever did went right. Dear, dear me, we used to say. I'll give you an example. See, Albert once fell in love, only once fell in love with a lady. She was a very voluptuous lady. Beautiful she was, really beautiful. And she was good looking too. And her name was the Duchess. The Duchess was very domineering, I think you know what I mean, I really do. And she was into S and M. But poor old Albert, he didn't speak Spanish or Mexican. And so she kicked him out and he went home that night, very depressed, dejected, disappointed. And he sat down, made himself a nice cup of tea, and he sat down again, and he turned on the television. Suddenly his whole life changed because he was back in love again. Yes, Albert was in love with the television set. And poor old Albert, it was a very one-sided affair. And in two days he was in hospital, having to have the glass removed from his private part. So, he went on a convalescing holiday abroad, over there where I'm pointing, where tragedy struck again. Yes, Albert fell desperately in love with his walking stick. And in two days, he was back in the hospital again, having the walking stick removed from his pocket. Albert also had a short, torrid affair with his wheelchair. Didn't last long because Albert didn't like the spokes sticking between his teeth. So, 
Think about that one. He came home where he entered a home for unsuccessful young lovers called Duke's End. Hey, I don't want you to feel too sorry for Albert because every cloud luckily has a silver lining. And every silver lining has a cloud. And every bin has a lining. And it was in this bin that Albert wrote some of his most forgettable books. Yes, he wrote Romeo and Albert. I can see you bought it. He also wrote... He also wrote Albert in Wonderland. A Midsummer Night's Albert. The Taming of the Albert. And then he started to branching into films, where he starred and wrote a film called Albert vs. Kramer. Then, Kramer vs. Albert. And finally, Albert vs. Albert. In those Bridge Over the River Albert, uh, too numerous to mention. Then he went into making records. Dark Side of the Albert was a very big hit, which he followed up. He followed up with I Left My Albert in San Francisco. And then finally, to commercial acclaim with Sing Along at Albert, which leads us very nicely to our next piece of music, which has nothing to do with Albert at all. I was deliberately wasting your time, sir. It is, in fact, some music from our album, what is called Duke. And we're going to play some music from our album called Duke, I think you know what I mean. And we've called this piece of music for the purposes of tonight's concert, music from our album called Duke. Thank you. <laughs> 